Number five, a 10 kilogram object is being pulled horizontally along a frictionless surface with a force, a net force of 60 newtons resulting in a net, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, with a net force of 60 newtons. What is the magnitude of the acceleration of the object? So what is this simply an application of? Yeah, Newton's second law. Some of the forces equals ma. And we were told that the net force was 60 newtons. I don't know if there's a multitude of, you know, some people are pulling on this thing and some people are pushing the other way, and I don't know. But they gave us the net force right off the bat of 60 newtons. And we can very quickly solve for that acceleration. What do we get here? Great. Yeah, and in the same direction as the net force. Awesome. So number six, building right off of number five here. So now we have a 10 kilogram object yet again with a net force of 60 newtons resulting in a net acceleration of four meters per second squared. What is the coefficient? Oh, hold on. I'll change it on the handout, guys. Take off the word net and just have it say force. 10 kilogram object is being pulled horizontally with a force of 60 newtons, resulting in a net acceleration of four meters per second squared. And the question is, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the surface? So what's different here between what we did over here at number five, first of all? We're given the acceleration, We're given the acceleration and? Net. So this is not necessarily a net force. This was. So it's just one force. And what, do we, what force do we have over here that we didn't have over here? We have friction. And which way does friction point? We haven't talked about this yet. Which way does friction point? Always opposes the motion here. So in this case, we have some sort of frictional force opposing our motion here. And the question is really, what's the coefficient of kinetic friction involved with this frictional force right here? So we call this a free body diagram, all set up. Notice I omitted a couple pieces of this free body diagram. What parts did I leave off? Yeah, we got gravity pulling down. That's the weight equals mg. And there's a normal force. Is there any acceleration whatsoever in the vertical direction? Then these are exactly equal. Your normal force and your weight are equal in magnitude opposite direction. And we don't care. All right, so we'll deal with just the x direction. So, and I'm gonna call the 60 newtons pushing to the right positive and subtract off the force of friction. So I'm defining to the left as negative. And what are the sum, oh, that is the sum of my forces. And what does the sum of forces always add up to? MA. And in this case, so 60 newtons minus our force of friction, got a 10 kilogram mass. Acceleration, uh, four meters per second squared. And in this case, what can you imply about your force of friction? Yeah, in this case, rearrange, you can solve your force of friction is 20 newtons. Is that what the question asked? What did the question actually ask? Yeah, what's the coefficient of friction? Whether you plugged in your formula for friction up here and solve for the kinetic, or now that we know the force of friction, you can plug it in either way. And in this case, 20 newtons equals your coefficient of kinetic friction and your normal force. And what's our normal force equal to? It is 98 newtons. Where did you get that? So technically, you set up the sum of the forces that we kind of skipped over just a little bit ago. And you said in the y direction, the normal force points up, minus mg, which points down, adds up to ma, but in this case, ma is zero, which means your normal force simply equaled mg in magnitude. So that's where you got that. And in this case, 10 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared is indeed 98 newtons. And what do we get for a coefficient of kinetic friction? How about 0.2 something? 
Somebody help me out with that. And what are the units on that? It's not Newtons. Ah, good, there's no units there. So if you notice, if force of friction has units of Newtons and normal force has units of Newtons, then your coefficient has no units whatsoever. Great. Where did you get that equation from the force friction? Equals mu k normal force. We had, it, we had it up on the board just a little bit ago. Yeah, it's right at the top of that section. And it's not the max, is it? So, well, in this case, are we dealing with static or kinetic? Is this object moving or not moving? It's moving, so then we're dealing with kinetic, which is not dealing with the max at all. It's only the static one we got to deal with the max. All right, if you look at six part B, we've got a 10 kilogram object on a horizontal surface yet again, being pulled with a 60 Newton force, but this time 30 degrees below the horizontal. Uh, what is the magnitude of the acceleration of the object? So in this case, let's complete our feed body diagram here. Uh, let's start with the y direction. What forces do we actually have operating in the y direction? Yeah, we got the weight, we got a normal force, and if you notice one component of our pulling force is pulling down as well. In fact, let's get that one kind of diagrammed in. So that's gonna be 60, it's the opposite side, so sine of 30 degrees. All right, in the x direction, part of our 60 Newton force is pulling to the right. What is the component of the 60 Newton force pulling to the right now, adjacent side? That's 60 Newtons times cosine of 30 degrees. And then implied by giving us mu k, what else do we have? Yeah, we've got a frictional force pulling back the other way. And frictional force is mu times the normal force here. So in this case, we can set up a couple of different sum of the forces here. We have the sum of the forces in the x direction equal ma. We sum of the forces in the y direction equal ma. So in this case, let's start with the y direction. Uh, if we look, what are the three forces in the y direction? Normal force points up. So, but mg points down will make it negative, and 60 sine 30 points down as well will make it negative. And in this case, ma, is there any acceleration whatsoever in the y direction. So, no, not at all. There's no movement even in the y direction. And so in this case, these sum up to zero. All right, in the x direction. So we've got 60 cosine 30. So pull into the right and working against it. So I'll make negative is our force of friction, mu times normal force. And in this case, we really do have an acceleration in the x direction. That's ultimately what we're trying to solve for. So in this case, if you notice from the y, we're gonna solve for our normal force. We're gonna plug that back in here so we can get our acceleration in the x direction. All right, let's plug some numbers in here. 10 kilograms, 9.8 meters per second squared, 60 sine 30, notice sine 30 is a half, so this is 30 Newtons, 10 times 9.8 is 98, plus 30, and your normal force is 128 Newtons. We'll plug that back in here. Coefficient of kinetic friction is given as 0.2. Our normal force is 128 Newtons. I'm gonna bring the mass over, divide by that completely to get our acceleration. Can anybody get me that value of our acceleration in this case? Yeah, 2.8 meters per second squared.